Welcome back here. So data shows the number of volunteer firefighters has dropped significantly across the nation, while the number of emergencies has actually gone up, leaving some fire stations trying to figure out how to recruit and also keep volunteers. KFOX 14 Morning Anchor Jessica Gonzalez showing us how one firehouse in El Paso County is keeping up with that demand in a growing area and what they're doing right now to get volunteers through the door. It's a never ending job when there are emergencies, not just fires. Crews at one of the two Horizon City fire stations jump to action. From plumbing, getting cats out of trees to helping someone who's fallen and, and you know, can't get up. And in the last decades, those emergencies have gone up significantly. It's something Fire Chief Chris Menendez can confirm. We're running about 300 to 350 calls a year. That's a year. Now, today, we're running about 5,000 calls. Statistics from the National Protection Association show that in the past four decades, there has been a 40% increase in the U.S. population, which has led to the number of emergency calls tripling. However, the number of volunteer firefighters has dropped by about 200,000. This firehouse relies heavily on them. We have about 61 on the roster, and of those 61, approximately 42 are volunteers. Menendez says a statewide initiative is underway to get volunteer numbers up in some counties. Volunteers are now being paid. We're doing that with two stations, and without the volunteers, it would be very difficult because our paid operations staff is comprised of 16 members. <laughs> Our goal or my goal is to make them better than when they came in. It's a lot of their own time, their own dedication to make things happen. It's, you know, again, it's what they put into it is what they're going to get out of it. It's now more of an effort to get volunteers into stations here. Even a tiller truck becomes a reason to join the department because it's the only one in the region. And not only is it, is it for maneuverability or for carrying equipment, but it's also a recruitment tool because everybody wants to drive the back of this truck. Sources like the National Volunteer Fire Council show the drop in volunteer firefighters nationwide is attributed to disinterest in volunteering, work-life balance priorities, awareness of health-related risks that come with being a firefighter, and wanting to go back to school to get a higher paying job. Everything has gone up. Uh, going to a McDonald's, it costs almost triple what it used to cost. And while incentives will get recruits through the doors, he knows all too well that come the first day of volunteer training, he'll be saying this to them. We expect to lose 40% of you all that are here today. But for some, like former Utah football player Dalen Williams, volunteering in Horizon City started as a need to stay active, but ended as a career choice. I learned a lot. You know, I came in with no fire background at all. You get a chance to get fully certified with TCFP, your fire certifications, and your MT basic. While volunteering often implies free work, Menendez says they also get something back, a hands-on experience to see if this career is for them. Do they want to be firemen? Do they want to be paramedics? Because there is no difference whether you're volunteer or paid. You see the same stuff, the same accidents, the same fatalities. And the gratification of knowing they're giving back to the community. He is an, an exemplary example of what it is and the dedication that it takes to uh, to be involved with the volunteer party. Program. It feels good, you know, when you see people in public, you know, they thank you. Jessica Gonzalez, KFOX 14 News at 9.